different in the countryside? Can't be any worse, can it? Fewer places to hide. There'll be no one to hide from. Look, all I want to do is find a little place of my own which I can call home. A little piece of land where I can grow my own food. Not scratching leftovers like some animal. It's a nice dream. It's more than a dream. Amber, look around you. There's no future here. The tribes have got the city. Let them live on tinned food. And what happens when the tinned food runs out? Do you think they're gonna leave you alone on your country estate? I don't believe this. You've changed your mind. You're not coming with me. No, Dal, I haven't changed my mind. It's just that, I don't know, it feels like running away. I know there's nothing we can do. We can't stop the tribes taking over. I just hate to see them get away with it. This is where I grew up. It's where you grew up, Dal. You might be able to walk away, but I can't. It's not that simple. Wait. Where's Chloe? Oh, no, we've lost her already. No, we haven't. Look. Good boy. Bring it here. Titty, titty. Whee! Did you like that? Come on, let's do it again. Good boy. Good boy. Did you see that guy? I mean, what was his problem? These tribe leaders, they get too much power. I'll show them. I'll get even with them. It's a promise. What's the matter with you? Don't touch me. For the last time, Zan. I'm sorry about Glenn. Couldn't be helped. You had a thing about the guy, is that it? No! Then stop your sniveling. He wanted to be a locust. Now he's got his wish. You know what I think? I think he sacrificed himself, deliberately, to save us. I can hardly to think about it. Lex. What are you looking at? Is this thing gonna start or what? It's out of gas. I did find something though. Come. Let's get out of here. What tribe? We're not with any tribe. We found Chloe a couple of streets away. You obviously know her. I'm Amber, by the way. This is Dal. Celine. Did you know Chloe wandered off? I can't stop her. What difference does it make? We can't run anymore. I was gonna give us up. Then I found this place. I thought they could have a play. One more time before. I'll scout around. See if I can find some shelter for the night. Okay, I'll share the food out. Yeah. You'd better, friend. You just better. See, I own this sector. And you're trespassing. But I tell you what, I'm feeling generous today. Why don't you just give me the bag and I'll say no more about it? Oh, don't try running. You might get away. Mm. But they won't. Who are you? I don't recognize your tribe. Don't tell me you've never heard of us. What? Locos! dogs.
have to. Must be a shopping mall or something. There should be a way out up ahead. I hope you're right. Come on. Adele, be careful. Come on, in here. What's up there? Nothing. We better get back to seat 12 and it's still light. Come on. So you're Patsy and your name is Paul. And who's this? Bob. <laughs> Did you have any luck? No. Well... We don't have much, so we have to share. This is Patsy and Paul. Patsy does all the talking. I think her brother's a bit shy. He's not shy. I'm deep that too. Doesn't seem to have any trouble talking. When he feels like it. Oh, I see. Do you lip read, Paul? He says he prefers to sign. What does that mean? It means we're in trouble. Now, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? You're not getting away that easily. Looks like you're the one not getting away. What do you want with us? We've got no argument with the locusts. These aren't locusts. If they were, they would have done the job right. Open it up. Open it up now or you'll regret it. I'm gonna count to ten. One! Two! <laughs> three! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what happens now? I think you'll find that, that was a fairly empty threat. You didn't quite think it through, did you? Not to worry. Hi, oh, I'm Jack, and I think you've got something to say to me. Like what? Well, in my day it was thanks, but uh, times are changing. Thanks. Don't mention it. Um, these gates can only be lifted with a special winch. I'll lift the far one when you guys have had a chance to cool off. Come on, I'll show you around. Hey! Where are you going? Stay here, and don't move. You're safe here. But what about you? Well, I'll scout the area, and see what I can find. Why are you doing this? Doing what? 
helping us. We could be demon dogs for all you know. <laughs> you guys. Maybe not. All the same, you didn't have to let us in here. Hey. Simple. I've been living out of a crate of tin beans for the last six weeks and... Come on! Let us even out. that's running low. Well, we haven't got much food either. But you can help me find some. That's the least you could do after I helped you with your little problem back there. Uh, look, thanks for your help. But we have to move on. First thing in the morning. Right, Amber? See yourselves. You won't find a better place to crash than this. It's so big and empty. I'm tired. Me too. It's getting dark. What are we going to do about sleeping? I've got a blanket. The younger ones can have that. The rest of us will just have to make do. Sounds good, but uh, I can go on better. Yeah, hey! Hey! <laughs> what do you think? It's like heaven. Clean sheets. Real feather pillows. Of course, uh, I sleep in the electrical shop. Sort of feel attached to the place. Hey! Open this gate! What are we going to do about those three? Locked in a cage. Oh, forget it. That's what you do with animals. Lock them up. Hey, look at this couch. You're wasting your time. They're not going to let us out. Save your strength. This place ain't so bad. We slept in worse places like. Who asked you? Give me that. What's wrong? She can't find her teddy. I want to go home. I know. It's all right. This is your home. For now, at least. Come on, Lex. There's nothing you can do. Right. Sounds like the locals. We're all dead meat. You'll see. I'm warning you! Look into the future, what do you see? I really need to know now, is there a place for me? Tell me where do we go from here? Take me as you find me for what I am. And when I make mistakes, please understand. And as long as I know you're there is nothing for me